Hey guys, it's Hacker RC here. Recently, I've been interested in FPV and I wanted to get into it as fast as possible. I wanted a plug and play system. So I got this on special. It's a Fat Shark Teleporter V4 goggles with a 25 milliwatt camera transmitter integrated unit. And as it says here, everything in one box. And I'll just show you what's inside. Now evidently I've already used this. This isn't how it's packaged, but I thought I'd just show you just in case. All right. So here's the actual headset itself or goggles. And it's got a nice carry case here. And yeah, you got your antenna. It's a circular polarized antenna aka a clover leaf antenna uh, you got your adjustment buttons up here and you know a few you know data port here and you know lots of other features power port um yeah that's where your av cable plugs in if you want to look at it through your tv now i will get into the actual experience i had with this headset but I just wanted to, you know, show you what this is, what an entry level headset like this will give you. So here's the actual camera transmitter unit itself, and it's everything in one. So literally all you need to do to power this up is just plug it into an existing receiver. So I'll show you. So this is literally all you need, just a battery, a receiver that's where you plug it in and just an electric um, an ESC uh, that's if you want to attach it to uh, an electronic plane all right so yeah the camera uh, just fairly straightforward just got channel select uh, the stock cable was a bit short so I extended it uh, quite a bit as you can see and it still works perfectly fine there's no uh, RFI or signal interference, uh, the picture is still the same. So, you know, don't be afraid to extend the wires on your own 25 milliwatt camera as well. Here's the AV cable. Again, I'll show you where it plugs in. Just plugs into the side there. And don't confuse it with the, head so, uh, the headphone jack on the bottom. Um, because that won't give you the signal. Uh, but yeah, that plugs in there, and this just plugs into the back of your TV. Pretty straightforward. It also comes with this uh, battery, and it's a two, it's a basic two cell LiPo. So you got your balance leads there. Uh, it even comes with a battery charger. Uh, although I don't use it, I just use my balance charger. It's still handy to have, and that just plugs into here and make sure if you get one of these sets and this applies to all head, FPV headsets just make sure that antenna is in and screwed in tight before you put the power um, in because otherwise um, you will damage the amplifiers inside so the uh, antenna acts as a bit of a heat sink so you know, electricity goes in comes uh, back out and it allows it distributes the heat um, and if you don't have it in um, you'll damage it pretty much instantly surprisingly uh, it'll ruin a new set of goggles within a second so yeah just be aware of that and I'll plug it in for you so you just got to get a beep on startup uh, it's a bit hard to see, but yeah, you can kind of see these uh, two screens in here. And when you view it, uh, they combine uh, to form one screen, kind of like a pair of binoculars. All right, here's the battery charger for it itself. And yeah, I've never used it, but it's just a handy thing to keep around. You got like all your universal connections in there as well so that's handy to have uh, you know just got some manuals uh, one thing you should note about this headset is the 
camera in this uh, manual um, doesn't actually come with the kit. They supplied a different camera. It looks exactly the same, but it's actually different. The input voltages are different. So I'll, I'll get into that later, but just bear that in mind. Uh, just some manual for the charger. Uh, and yeah, you just got the uh, data cable for the headset tracking. So this headset actually incorporates digital head tracking. Um, and the 25 milliwatt camera is compatible with this. So the way it works is you kind of, you just tilt your head down and it focuses on a, like a, a, the lower part of the picture or, you know, you tilt your head to the left and it focuses on the left hand side part of the picture. Uh, it kind of works like a digital zoom as opposed to an optical zoom. So it doesn't actually, uh, change where the camera is looking at. It just changes where the screen focuses on. And, uh, but the, uh, as I was saying with this data cable, uh, it does allow the option of analog head tracking. So that's actual, like if you have the, uh, the camera mounted on a gimbal unit, uh, so that's something which can, you know, rotate left, right, up, down. It can even turn the camera behind. Uh, this is what you do. So you just plug that in there and then you plug this into the back of your transmitter and your transmitter controls the gimbal, of course, but uh, you actually, uh, you know, by tilting your head left, right, up, down, uh, that sends the signal to the transmitter and the transmitter sends that to the gimbal, which alters the uh, camera angle. And you just bear in mind, the gimbal isn't included in this kit, uh, but this uh, headset can, you know, if you want to upgrade it down the track, um, you can incorporate that. The actual experience I had with this, I was actually quite impressed given my uh, low expectations. I had, I have a friend who's really into FPV and I asked him about this kit beforehand and he said, uh, you know, the picture quality may not be that good. Uh, the camera's response to low light may not be sufficient. Uh, the range may suffer. He said it'd, it'd probably be 150 to 200 meters max with the stock cloverleaf antennas. Uh, but believe it or not, I actually tested all these things out and all of my low expectations were blown away. I was, I was really impressed uh, considering it's just an entry level headset. And yeah, the, the very first test I did was I waited until just after sunset and you know I set it all up I looked through the headset and yeah the the image was actually pretty bright um if anything this camera seems to respond better to low light than uh you know direct sunlight cuz sunlight tends to produce a bit of glare in the lens that's what I've noticed um but yeah I was really impressed with that and uh later on um I tested out the range of this, this thing with the stock antennas and I got my friend to put on the goggles so I would fly it in third person and he would just check for any breaks in the signal and I went out to an, a landmark about 400 meters away I knew it was 400 meters because I've searched it up in Google Maps and I yeah went out there I did a u-turn and I asked him were there any breaks in the signal and he said no there weren't and I was really surprised. And even though it's a you know completely clear area, there were no major, uh, no power lines nearby. Uh, it's still really impressive. And I'm gonna test it out even more. I'm gonna see if I can hit 600 meters. And I've been told this is safe to do, um, even with a 5.8 gig uh, system, because you do you do get some kind of warning beforehand uh before the signal cuts out so long as you're not you don't duck behind like trees or mountains you do get some warning so yeah that really blew my mind and yeah i mean the only things um uh the only negatives i can say about this are really you know issues you can fix like for example this camera it's it's a difficult um I found it a bit difficult to mount at first, but I just made 
um, an adjustable mount. I made an, another video for this. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of, it really, uh, really impressed me. And I was um, amazed how, you know, the very first time I put it on, I was really able to immerse myself in the headset. Uh, even though the, the screens, uh, the internal screens are a bit small, uh, they still do, like, after, you know, 30 seconds, you're really, it, it's like you're really in the cockpit of the plane. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth trying.